made too much repetition uh, okay so uh, again work on everyone uh, uh, work on everyone to another Elio wave forecast uh, uh, to another Elio wave forecast uh, forum today is the 26th of November and guys uh, a very slow a very slow date in the market no doubt about it uh, uh, very slow day on the market but doesn't mean that it lacks uh, or importance uh, when it comes to the day the charge that you guys see in there is the US dollar and it's still like I say if you look at the one hour charge the US dollar now you gotta be off the trade if you sort it I mean I mean if you sort out the highs I mean if you sort at the high here you stay with the trade it's like buying the euro around 127 now right now is no time to sell the dollar to be honest with you guys I don't think it's the right time to sell the dollar because honestly guys the dollar is steered by in the four hour there is nothing that denying that this cannot happen that we recommend the buying it absolutely no but technically speaking the dollar is still a buy in the four hour the dollar is still a buy in the four hour so you gotta be very careful with that uh, because it can get complex I mean it can get this route what we are expecting in early way forecast it's like what we've been saying in the morning. We don't know yet if the X here is in place or this is W and it's gonna get complex. You will know with you will not know that until you see a pullback. You need to see some sort of pullback and the nature of the pullback is gonna let you guys know. If you take a look at the dollar together with the euro, there is a huge difference in a structure due to the fact that the euro bottom first than the dollar. The dollar bottom here. So the dollar technically all you have is a one, two, three ways. The euro looks like you have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is very shallow there but like I say and that was the first things that we mentioned when we opened the room today that the dollar is not clear and that you need more data to get a, to get a better feeling about the US dollar and like I say sometimes guys it's not like that and sometimes you gotta give the market some, some, uh, sometimes in order for you to, uh, in order for you to get a, a, a better count. I'm unfortunate, uh, that's the way it is. And onto that, be honest with you guys, no much that you can do. No much that no more that you can do other than that let it I mean other than that let the market provide you the data. At this stage to break in conclusion on the euro and in the dollar and cable or all those pairs, you gotta wait. You gotta wait and let the, the four hour there is two scenarios only. Either they're gonna align they put in this way the four hour the 
the one hour is down. The four hour is still out in the case of the dollar. All right, so either two way, they're gonna align sooner or later. So either, either they're gonna do this and then around here, we will know that it's gonna go to 82 or either they're gonna align here in around here we should know that it's gonna go to 74 at this stage we are exactly right here like I was telling in the room early today at this stage we are right here right here happened to be that they are lying to the outside but right here I remember we told you guys that it's gonna go to 85 81 but we are right here. You don't do nothing when you are in that stage of the market. To be honest with you guys, you do not do nothing. At least in that group of pairs, you don't do nothing. So, very simple. This cycle ended. And this has nothing to do with this. This is in the Euro is very simple either like this or higher or it's gonna do like this and do seven swing and take the euro all the way to 124 one to I'm sorry 125 124 60 area honestly we don't know yet that's the real honest quest, uh, answer and you got nothing more than wait for the market to show you which way it goes and trade with confirmation anybody see that right that's very simple guys very 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 simple now the S&P is about the same the whole market guys in the way we trade the whole market is on the same stage a definition of the trend and then you gotta wait and stay on the size and be able to trade when the market decided uh, when the market decided which way it is gonna go that's the way it is and until then you got nothing to do other than that wait when it comes to the dollar and when it comes to the indices nothing that you can do guys wait now I mentioned to you guys, uh, well, I'll show you this one. The 10 years note, it ended this cycle. That's why you cannot buy the euro now or sell the dollar. That cycle ended. And you won't be surprised if later in Asia, you're going to see some sort of selling in risk I won't be surprised about that so look the 10 years old treasure note very well correlated with uh, very well correlated with uh, I mean with the dollar and it's telling me that the cycle that started and the middle of November it ended in the 10 years now the 10 years have two ways around I see this as an only swing which makes me to believe that in some degree there's gonna be some sort of continuation to the downside that's why guys it's possible to be honest with you guys that the law is in 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 the euro and the high is in 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 the dollar but all we're saying is that there is no confirmation about that and because there is no confirmation you honestly you gotta wait you honestly gotta wait all right now I want to show you this 
I mean, idea target is the 8001. Let's see how it works with that. If you put the dollar and you put also the euro, you guys can see that date bottom and top in a different date. But also you guys can see that the I mean you guys can see that the dollar is showing three ways from the top. The euro is showing one, two, three. This can be a connector four and five. So like you guys see right there, uh, like you guys see right there, uh, you got to wait. I mean, I can, I'm going to be repeating the same word because I, will, I don't recommend another thing other than that. I mean, you honestly got to wait. You honestly have to wait because... I mean, there is no another. There is no another thing that you can do other than wave. It's. I mean, I can count the euro completed if I want to. Like I can count the dollar completed if I want to. So either way, it's an is it's a market to be honest with you that it is uh it is in everybody lens and i mean and it can go i mean it can go either way so you better stay at it until the market define which way of the two the market is gonna take Otherwise, to be honest, like I repeated several times, you guys can get, uh, you guys can get in, in a in a in a wrong side of the market. Now, I want to show you this to you guys. This is the dollar yen, the euro yen. I'm sorry. The cycle from this date is very mature and possible ended. Uh, if you look that, I mean, that cycle is very, very almost ending, which means that you're spreading a pullback most likely here. If you look at the RSI, this is the eight-hour RSI is showing divergency. What about the rest? It's a huge divergence that you're showing. Now, like I say, there's still the possibility that the euro dollar has the low in. Now, now, if you put the euro the euro yen in top of this, you can see that the euro yen from these lows. It has one, two, three, four, five. The euro yen, this is like calling. Uh, it should trade lower over here before going higher. That's telling me that the euro yen also should do the same. And like I mentioned yesterday, if you follow the correlation with the euro dollar right there, I want you guys to look at the days. Low, send dates, high, send dates. Then the Euro Yen did all this. When it went here and lower, if you look at both of the three, this is the connector in the Euro Yen. The dollar, the Euro dollar has to make a high about these days, the 17 or 14 of September, but the Euro Yen did already. One and two. So there is 
three possibility technically that because the market can take many paths but like i always say they're gonna get into the top of the tree or in different route but they're gonna fall most likely everyone at the same time what i say with that is that the euro yen is from the lows we assume that this is a cycle in the euro yen and Louis, I mean, all you guys at Daoud, if you guys there, please try to understand this. So maybe you guys have another idea. Right? That's a race cycle. On to that day, they went together. Now, they did all the things right here in between. Now, this cycle in the case of the euro which is the closing there it has not been broken now from this law look the euro yen from this law the euro test the high the dollar yen the euro the do, the euro yen makes a new high marginal about this one now I have two paths that can take place here. The first path is I'm going to follow the path in red. That path in red, we're going to call it Euro Yen flat. All right? That, that path is going to put the euro yen in this structure. When the blue one is the connector. All right? Now, in that path, the euro yen did three, a flat, and it's going to do another three ways higher. You there agree, right? It's gonna do another three way higher. That's the flat. Now, what about the euro? If the top right here on the same date, then the euro the, the connector, and then the euro is already in the first lead of the of the second on the second path right there in red that's one path then the euro is gonna put back and it's gonna make another rally like the dollar yen like the oh my gosh like the euro yen to the upside that's one path in that one in that path No, that, that's the way it should be, Greg. Around 132, 34, both the euro and the euro yen should do a very big correction to the downside before going higher. I got no doubt about that one. Now, this is the path in red, which is, like I say, the euro yen path that is a flat, you see the flat right here, Greg, in the Euro Yen. Everyone is here, right? That's one scenario. That scenario say that they, on, on 13 on, on November, the risk of trade has a bottom. And then now the risk on is going to, I mean, is going to start rallying already. All right, so that's, I mean, that's one scenario there. Now, the second scenario, we're going to call it the Euro 
dollar double correction. And the way it works is until here, we are the same. Now what's going to happen is that the connector is going to be different. Uh, in that case, you see, in that case, what's going to happen is that the euro did 8, B, C, now the euro is going to do, is going to do this before higher. That's the blue path. Now, what about the euro yen? How the euro yen is going to support that scenario? The thing with the euro yen is that in order for the euro yen, let's say that the euro yen can be doing a big wave, a flat from here, 8, B, and C like that. I don't like that because the dollar yen is denying that scenario. The dollar yen is putting five swing from here. One, two, three, four, five. So the euro the dollar yen is telling me that the euro yen is gonna buy uh, the dollar yen is telling me uh, that what the euro yen is going to do is correct this cycle before going higher. All right? So that takes away the flat in the euro yen. And then it's going to leave you with the idea that from here, the euro yen in blue is going to make three wakes, correct this cycle, and another rally here. In conclusion, if this is what you guys need to take away from this, that some sort of euro win next, is going to happen, and that's the one that you should wait for it. And then the witness is going to decide between which of the two scenarios is going to happen, which is either the euro yen flat, the euro dollar double correction. Looking at the, at looking at this, I would say that the most likable scenario is is this one, the euro yen flat. In other words, that the euro yen ended the correction here, and the euro yen is gonna correct the cycle from eleven thirteen, and after that, every one of them they're gonna rally in another leg higher in the risk on trade right now I don't think so I mean but I would never gonna say no I don't think that the double success is what we waiting but well you never say never uh, I, I tend to believe that the path is going to be this one, a correction of this cycle in the, uh, for September, uh, November 13, a correction of that cycle in risk and going higher. You got to go with that one until the market deny it. Everybody understand that? Now, like I say, there is no confirmation. Something that uh, something that is being uh, 
brought to my attention is that our system hasn't changed the buyers in the dollar, neither in the euro, and we are very deep. Usually, to be honest with you guys, it changed the buyers a lot of uh, early than that. So you got to wait. Uh, in conclusion, you got to wait because some pullback in risk is going to happen, guys. This is no in a straight line. Risk is going to pull back this week in some sort or nature. And then the nature of that pullback is going to let you guys know where we stand. Anybody understood the, the correlation between the two here and what we are expecting? The red one is the primary uh, scenario. The blue one is the secondary, which is the one that is going to take the dollar the euro dollar to 125.26 before going higher. But um, honestly, guys, you guys need to wait. You cannot take decision honestly at this stage. You guys need to wait. Our system is still bearish, the euro dollar, still bearish in the four hours. Another scenario that is possible is that is right here. That the Euro yen did a connector, and this is a cycle of the first leg and the cycle as a flat. 3, 3, and 5, and then that the Euro Yen is going to correct the whole cycle, which allow the Euro Yen to have a deeper correction. So, I mean, that one is, I mean, that one's for into the same scenario because this is a very deep correction, and that would allow the Euro Dollar to go the move to 126 or so, all right? You see, for, uh, I mean, it has to be one of the two or the three. So we don't know why. That's This is the case when Elio Way give you more than one scenario and you gotta be very careful before data, before, because things can get compressed, guys. In conclusion, what we see is in a daily trend, more outside. No we don't recommend buying any type of risk access today. Hmm. And we will recommend to wait for at least the first leg of the pullback to see how strong it is, if it's going to break these lows or it's going to hold it. We should know when that thing's going to take place. Hmm. Any question, guys? We got five minutes. About your question, Citus, I think that in the dollar yen, we're going to go lower. We're going to go lower and that the B way is not ready. I mean, the B way has not ended. About Cooper, I mean, the way that we should buy the yen is the way that the, the trade that Lewis sent. About Cooper, nothing has changed, Bruce. Maybe the path can change here and there. But we still see Cooper. Now I see five swings of the lows in Cooper. One, two, three, four, five. So more outside should happen either in the way of the diagonal or 
or either in a way of a flat before higher. But it's gonna it's, it's bullish in the one hour, bearish in the four still, like the home market is, and three sixty two should be the target over there. Any question guys? What we make a bullish in the four hour is a mathematical invalidation of the downtrend. In other words, we need a candle. We need at least a complete mathematical candle in the market that, that hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. Not only at Cooper, but in any risk assets. There it hasn't there hasn't been a complete cycle of a candle mathematically that break the shores. That has not happened. Onto that, you gonna you gotta leave, you have to leave. For what you got that is a bullish one hour and a bearish four hour that's the same everywhere the euro the dollar everywhere that's the same everywhere there all right any other question, guys? <laughs> All right. So if no more questions, guys, let's leave it there. I got to switch to the Spanish one. And I'm going to process the recording. But, guys, the market has no change. Technically, it's the same. The market is... The market is bullish risk in the one hour, bearish in the four. So technically, the computers should be looking to sell risk at this stage, to be honest with you. That's what the computers are looking at. In other words, the four hour bearish trend has not been broken. Consequently, it's, it's very risky one way or the other. right so let's leave it there guys and i get back follow the trend report and the charge all right thank you guys